I am Naranjan Dala from uh, Winnipeg. I am a distinguished professor of the University of Manitoba uh, and I am also executive director of the International Academy of Cardiovascular Sciences. And what was the presentation you uh, made today? Uh, I talked about the mechanisms of diabetic cardiomyopathy. You see what happens that uh, most of the population who are diabetics uh, they end up in uh, heart dysfunction. And, and uh, we, I talked about how, why, how can we understand this mechanism so that proper uh, therapy can be instituted to cure that. And what happened, but previously uh, we have shown that there are two mechanisms uh, which were important for treatment of uh, diabetic cardiomyopathy, and that was uh, one was the activation of renin angiotensin system and so ACE inhibitors and the blockers of the uh, of uh, angiotensin receptors uh, could be very useful for uh, curing this uh, problem. Uh, then we have already published uh, quite extensive data showing that there is the activation of sympathetic nervous system uh, and this activation of sympathetic nervous system uh, leads to deterioration of uh, cardiac function and this can be also prevented by, uh, uh, by the sympathetic nervous system block, blocking agents. And today I presented a very interesting uh, feature. Uh, we showed that the, the antiplatelet therapy uh, could be very useful for preventing uh, cardiovascular dysfunction and diabetes. And we, we, I showed that uh, uh, the agent like serpoglate, which is an antiplatelet agent acting through on the, on the uh, serotonin receptors, uh, could be useful because it uh, does uh, uh, prevent the deterioration of cardiac function. Uh, and it does it because it promotes the utilization of glucose. And so it, this may be a, a, another adjunct therapy. Uh, to the already well-known insulin uh, doses people are uh, having with the diabetic patients. 